Hello. It's good to be with you today. I sure miss the days when we could sit on the steps together and talk and we could see each other's faces. And I am looking forward to when that happens again. But until then, we'll do it this way, and I enjoy talking to you. And while I'm talking to you, I'm imagining your faces. I'm imagining your smiles and your bright eyes and all of the great questions you always had to talk to me about. So when we get back together, I'm going to want to see those smiles and those faces and hear all of those questions. But for now, I wanted to talk to you about stories. I bet you guys love to hear stories. I know I do. I like to hear stories, whether they're read out loud to me or told to me. I like to read stories, whether they're grown-up stories in a book or whether it's a children's story to read out, out loud to my grandchildren. I just really enjoy stories. And did you know that Jesus loved stories? He told stories a lot when he was living on earth. He told them to his friends and he told them to people that were not his friends that sometimes wanted to hurt him. And Jesus told those kinds of stories, you know, when somebody tells you a story and they say, and you know what the moral of that story is, which means what is the lesson? What is the lesson you're supposed to learn from that story? That's the kind of stories Jesus told. So I thought today I would tell you a story that he told and see if you and I together could figure out what meaning he was trying to get across. So Jesus was with his friends and some people that, you know, were trying to trick him. And they asked him, you know, what, the, what is the greatest commandment? And um, Jesus told them to love God. And the second greatest commandment was to love your neighbor as yourself. And so these guys thought, well, I can trick Jesus because I'm going to ask him who my neighbor is. Now, you know who your neighbor is. It's the person that lives next door to you. Or when you're at school, it's the person that sits next to you at your desk. But that's not really the de definition of a neighbor, is it? So Jesus, instead of just arguing with them, Jesus said, well, let me tell you a story. So he told them the story of a man who was walking along a road. Now remember back then they didn't have cars or motorcycles or even bicycles. So he was walking and it would have been a dusty road. It would have been made of dirt because they wouldn't have had cement or asphalt or anything like that. So there wouldn't have been a sidewalk for him to walk on, but he was walking along the road and some bad guys came along and they beat him up. They beat him up so bad he couldn't walk he couldn't get around. They took his clothes. They took his money. They left him laying in a ditch, all naked and hurt, bruised and bleeding and so scared and sad. He didn't know what to do. Can you imagine how he must have felt? Have you ever been hurt? Have you ever been afraid? Have you ever been hurt and alone? It would be a terrible feeling, and I'm sure that's the way this guy felt. He was no, didn't even know if they might come back and hurt him worse. So he's laying there, and all of a sudden he sees someone coming along. And the person that's coming along is a priest, and that's like a preacher. And so this guy thinks, oh, I'm so glad somebody's coming. They'll help me for sure. And he laid there, and he waited but that guy went onto the other side of the road and made a big path around him and didn't even speak to him. Man, can you imagine how that felt? There he is, still hurting and still scared and still cold maybe, and nobody helped him. And before long, somebody else came along. And he thought again, oh, this is going to be great. He's going to help me. They're going to take care of me. And then they'll, they'll fix my sores and my bruises. And they'll give me something to eat. And I'll be all better. And guess what? That person went on the other side of the road and passed all the way around him and didn't stop to help him. Oh, I would have been so discouraged and so sad and so afraid, and I'm sure he was. But he couldn't do anything because he couldn't get up and walk, so he was just lying there. And before long, along came somebody, 
And he thought, finally, maybe this will be, but probably part of him was thinking, great, this guy's probably going to go on the other side too. Now, this person was somebody who really didn't like his family very much. But when he came upon him and he saw how badly hurt he was, he didn't go on the other side of the road. He said, oh my goodness. And he gave him his coat and he gave him some water and he put him up on his donkey. And he said, don't you worry, I'm gonna take care of you. And he took him on his donkey to an inn, which is like a hotel or a motel. And he got him there and he cleaned him all up and took care of his wounds and gave him something cool to drink and some food and gave him some clothes to take care of him and got him a place to spend the night. And the next morning when he was ready to leave, he said to the person that owned the inn or the hotel, he said, I'm gonna leave my friend here because he's hurt so bad, but I want you to take care of him and here's some money so that if he has anything that he needs, you can take care of it for him. And so he left money for him so that he would be taken care of. And then he went on his way. And Jesus just said, Jesus just said to them, who do you think was really a neighbor? Was it the first guy who walked around and went away from him? Was it the second guy who walked all the way away from him? Or was it the third guy who took care of him? Now the Bible doesn't tell us that they ever even knew each other's names. But who do you think was the neighbor? I kind of think that when Jesus says, love your neighbor as yourself, He's talking about treating each other the way the third guy treated the hurt man. That we don't have to uh, ha live next door to somebody or even know their name to take good care of them. That our neighbors are all around the world. Our neighbors are people who we've never met or we've never seen. And we might not even like them, but they're our neighbors. And that's an important thing to remember right now, is that if there are ways you can help other people, if there are ways that you can make someone smile, whether it's uh, to send them a card or make a phone call, those are ways that we treat our neighbors. And Jesus wants us to love our neighbors just like we love ourselves. And our neighbors are all the people in the world, whether they are close by, whether they are far away, whether we know their names, or whether we don't. So we want to remember this story, and it's called the Good Samaritan. If you ever hear it, you'll know that that was the story that we talked about. Let's have our prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for stories. I love to hear stories. And thank you for the stories that Jesus told, that Jesus told us stories that help us to understand the way we're supposed to live. This story helps us to understand who our neighbors are and how we are to treat them. Help us remember that and to care for other people the way we would want to be cared for. Take care of us as we wait through these weeks till we can get back together again and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, guys. I hope to see you again soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.